What's up, fam? This is your boy, El Jefe, and I'm bringing you my top five headphones for under 100 bucks. So the reason I'm bringing you this video today is because you have left me a bunch of comments asking me, you know, this headphone versus this headphone, or, you know, which one is better, or, you know, a lot of comparison type of questions. So I wanted to make a top five list to let you know which ones are my personal favorites. Now, this list is compiled of headphones that I have personally reviewed and that I personally vouch for because I think they are excellent. But if you're interested in checking any of those out or doing a deeper dive and getting some more info, I have full reviews available on each and every single one of these choices down in the description box down below. Also, if you're interested in any of these headphones and you want to just go ahead and buy them right away, there's also going to be some Amazon links to all of these in the description box down below as well. And as an Amazon associate, I do earn revenue on qualifying purchases. So just throwing that out there. So with all that out of the way, let's jump straight into this. So let's start with the number five headphone on this list. And that's going to be the MPOW H10. Now, don't think that because this is number five that it's a bad headphone. You know, this isn't rated that way. Of all the headphones I've tried, these are my five favorite. So this is still in the top five. Now, these headphones come in at 60 bucks. I've seen them go for as low as 45 bucks on Amazon when they go on sale. So keep an eye out for those discounts if you're interested in picking these up. Now, as to why they made the top five for this list. First of all, sound quality. Secondly, it's gonna be the deep active noise canceling. So these are excellent in both of those categories, which is really a surprise. Probably one of the best headphones under, you know, 60 bucks. It's giving you a lot of bang for your buck here. They're pretty comfortable. They're actually fairly lightweight, which is kind of a surprise, but they don't feel cheap or cheaply made. You know, they don't have that super plasticky feel like you get with some of the other headphones that are under $50. And I remember one of the, the biggest takeaways, one of the reasons that I really do remember these headphones and I have a fond memory of them is when I first tried them out, just how deep that noise canceling was, especially for the low frequency stuff. So like when I'm in my office, there's machinery going on in the background, there's all kinds of noise, there's elevators and stuff like that. So a lot of low frequency noise. And as soon as you flip that switch, it just cuts all that low frequency stuff out and your music sounds awesome. It, you don't have that issue where the ANC ruins the sound quality, none of that nonsense. These sound excellent. So for 60 bucks, the number five choice here is an excellent choice. My number four choice for this list is going to be the Anchor Soundcore Space NCs. Now these held the number one spot for me as far as active noise canceling headphones under a hundred bucks for the longest time. They were recently dethroned and we'll be talking about that headphone in just a couple seconds here. But these are still an excellent choice for anyone in this market. These come in around 95 bucks, but I have seen them as low as 80 or even $70 on Amazon. And I've had, you know, People in my community in the comment section tell me they found them, you know, at Walmart and different places on sale for as low as 50 bucks. So there is opportunities to get these at a discount if you keep your eyes open. As far as why they've made this list, the sound quality, the active noise canceling, some of the best for under a hundred bucks. And it's the type of noise canceling that actually improves the audio quality instead of diminishing it. Not only that, they're extremely comfortable and they have excellent battery life anywhere from 30 to 50 hours, depending on whether or not you have the active noise canceling turned on. And also they've got excellent microphone quality. So if you want to use these for like live streaming or to like take phone calls or anything like that, the microphone quality, both wired and wireless is excellent. And that's one of the main reasons why these headphones made this list. Now for number three on this list, and it's going to be the headphone that actually dethroned the Soundcore Space and Seas, it's the Tautronics BH046. These headphones come in at $89.99 and they also go by the name, I think, Sound Surge, like Tautronics Sound Surge, something like that. But I digress. These headphones are freaking excellent and the noise canceling is that much deeper than the Soundcore Space and Seas. Not only that, they've also got higher volume. You've also got better bass. So overall, it's just as far as everything encompassed, they are a better overall headphone. So you're packing in sound quality, you're packing in some good battery life. They also feature fast charging where five minutes gives you a couple of hours worth of playback time. So that's also another nice feature. And they are one of the most comfortable headphones that I've tried out in a long time. Very, very well cushioned as far as the ear cuffs goes. Great cushioning on the headband so it doesn't hurt the old bald head. So overall, 
for 89 bucks, these are an excellent choice. You know, you don't have to take it from me, my buddy Travis MCP, he's also done a review on these, and a lot of other different reviewers that I trust have also checked these out, and you know, we're pretty unanimous in the fact that we definitely like these headphones in the sub $100 price range. So you really can't go wrong with these headphones. If you're interested in any of these recent headphones that I just talked about, make sure you check out the links down below. There are Amazon links if you wanna purchase, and there are links to the full reviews down there as well. What was that? Now, for the number two on this list, we are bringing the base. These are the Sony XB950B1s. Now, brand spanking new, these headphones still will run you anywhere from about 105 bucks to 150. So why are they on this top under 100 list? Well, mostly because I buy these headphones and recommend these headphones in the refurbished market. I got mine for around 65 or 70 bucks, and you can normally find them anywhere from 60 to about 90 bucks in the refurb market. So these are an excellent choice. The bass is real bass. It isn't that weird haptic bass that you might get with the Skull Candy Crushers. This is the real deal where it's gonna shake your brain if you have it on level 10. And what I mean by level 10 is Sony has an app where you can make adjustments to the headphones and to the sound quality. So you can adjust that extra bass from zero to 10. I usually like to keep it somewhere between four and six, depending on the music that I'm listening to. But these are the real deal. Now, if you have it lifted up all the way to 10, it's gonna muddy up some of the mids and highs just by the sheer vibration. But if you do turn that down, you will have some really good sound quality overall. And they come in a couple different colors. You can get them in red, you can get them in this gorgeous blue like the ones I have, and they also come in black. So these headphones are excellent. These are easily my favorite bass headphone, and they're actually extremely comfortable. So if you like Sony and you like the way these look, don't be afraid to get these on the refurbished market, save some money, buy them refurbed, and when you get them, give them a nice wipe down, and you're ready to rock and roll. Take that from your boy El Jefe. I got mine for 70 bucks. I see them for 70 bucks all the time. So definitely don't miss out on these. And for the number one headphone on my list, that goes to the Edifier W830BT. I've been telling you guys about these headphones since September of 2017. These are some excellent headphones. Great sound quality, unbelievable battery life. They're also Aptex compatible, extremely comfortable, and they're actually styled pretty well. Not only that, they actually include a hard case in the box, which a lot of headphones don't anymore. And these are also better, in my opinion, than the Edifier 855s and the Edifier 820s. So anything under 100 that Edifier makes, these are the top dogs. Now, let me talk about that battery life for just a quick sec. Most headphones in this market or in this price range are giving you anywhere between 20 and 40 hours. These ones in my testing gave me 88 hours. Yes, you heard that correctly, 88 hours. That's insane. Most people that I know that own these headphones at bottom after my reviews have come back and told me that they only have to charge them once every one or two months. That's insane. And that removes that issue where people have with, you know, Bluetooth headphones where, oh, I always have to make sure that they're charged up and this and that. These headphones, you don't have that problem because you only have to charge them once every 30 to 60 days. So that's pretty insane. But not to talk about the sound quality, excellent. The volume, excellent. Great bass. These are dynamic sound. They're not clinical. So the sound is pumped up and I really do enjoy these. So that's the main reasons why these are my numero uno on this list. So, do you agree or disagree with the top five headphones that I chose for this list? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you have some recommendations on some headphones that you think I should have included in this video or maybe include in the recommendations list, leave those down there as well. And if it's something that I've tried before or that I do like, I'll go ahead and add those to the list. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. There's always one or two people out there who don't like my stuff, so I don't want you feeling left out. And if you haven't done so already, consider joining the fam. Hit that subscribe button along with that small notification bell. This way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So with all that said, I hope I brought you some good value today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great week. And I will see you in the next video.